Hello viewers. It's night time right now, so we're gonna do a story time. Fresh the little bird. Hello girls. Because I was having this word about a lot of back. Oh my gosh, I think you can see a good book. Who is Allah? If you can't say it, God, um, I'm sorry, it's because of the, you know, um, because it's like the phone. But, I guess it. <laughs> but, who is Allah? Let's read it. In the name of God. Wait a minute. Um, late one, late one evening in the month of May, Adam saw something beautiful from his bedroom window, window hanging low in the sky. The moon looked like a giant yellow circle. Oh my God, Adam said to himself, and then, and then he called his mother. Look, he's he's up like me, looking at the moon. Ooh, just curtains and stuff. I actually have the book. Um, what is Ramadan? On? If you don't know what Ramadan is, I think I have the book somewhere in the back. So, then, he said, Mom, wait, actually, let me see if I skip the page. Four, five, yeah. Mm, okay. Mom, look. Wait, sorry, I have to use that too. Mom, look at the full moon, isn't it? Beautiful Adam explained. His mother joined Adam at the window. Subhanallah, that's a gorgeous, she, whis she whispered. Subhanallah. What's Subhanallah? It means glory be to Allah. We praise Allah. For his amazing creation, Mom said. Mom smiling. <clears throat> oh wait, I got that S twenty two Ultra right now. So I'm using it. Okay, so let's just continue. The next morning, Adam awakened to the sound of a lovely voice. Allahu Akbar. Which would repeated several times. Repeat that. Allahu Akbar was. Wait, um. The next morning, Adam awakened to the sound of a lovely. Which Allahu Akbar was. <clears throat> was repeated several times. There's that sound they give Adam thought to himself. After looking to his bedroom, he said, he decided to go out of bed and find his mother. Here he is, trying, looking at the masjid or mosque. Um, now, the... Adam walked downstairs and quietly, quietly entered the prayer room. Assalamu alaikum, Adam, said Mom. You, you are up so early. That sound woke me up, replied Adam. Where does it come from? That's as it tells us when it's time to pray. Allahu 
Bird means Allah is the greatest, his mother replied. Mm, okay, said Adam, as he walked back to his room. Here he is. Here's the mom. Here, uh, here's Adam. Mm, I think this is Allah or something. I'm sorry, I don't know. I forgot. <clears throat> At breakfast, you don't know what to do. As breakfast, wait, let me just do something. Um, there. As breakfast, as breakfast time neared, Adam got ready for the day. He brushed his teeth, washed his face, and dressed in nice, clean clothes. From downstairs, he heard his father call out, are you ready to eat? Yes, I'm on my way. Adam called back, do you know what word has a lot this time? It's this one life. <laughs> and also, I'm on the they started eating Adam's mother and father said Bismillah. When breakfast was over, Adam's parents said Alhamdulillah. Dad, why do we say Bismillah before the meal and Alhamdulillah after? We say Bismillah to ask Allah to bless this meal and Alhamdulillah to thank him for all the good food he provided us, replied his father. Alhamdulillah, Adam replied. He still doesn't know who Allah is, so he's wondering, that's why. Adam was curious, that's why. Adam was curious. Many words centered around Allah. He knew Allah was very important, yet he was, he was not exactly sure who Allah was. In the afternoon, Adam went to play in the park. Children were playing, flying heights in, high in the air. That looks fun, Adam thought to himself. After dinner, Adam asked his parents if he could have a kite. Inshallah, we'll get you a kite, said his father. Inshallah, Adam said, looking up at his father. It means, if Allah wills, so his father explained. If Allah wants something to happen, then it will happen. Adam was really curious about Allah. Now, wait, two, actually, okay. Later that night, Adam walked up the stairs to his bedroom. His father joined him on the balcony. Finally, Adam looked up and asked in a small voice, Dad, who is Allah? Allah is God. Everything around you was created by him, explained his fa wait, father. Wait. He, he created humans like me and you, your mom. He, he created... Animals like the owl and fireflies we see outside. He created objects like the moon and the trees. He, he is the only creator of everything without any... Um, what is this word? Associates? Associates. Okay, here's the dad, here's Adam, there's a moon, I think I see a fire, 
Buster and the Owl. Go go see it now. Wait, oh, now I see the owl. We can't see Allah, but Allah can see us. He is high above the clouds. Every, very high up in the sky. His father continued. Allah is love. Allah is peace when we are happy we should thank him. When we're upset, we must always pray and ask him for help. Allah will always be here for us. Yes, there's the owl and there's the firefly, there's the moon. There's the dad, there's Adam, there's the balcony. Uh, <laughs> Adam looked at his father, stopped for a moment and said, A lot is so sounds, a lot sounds awesome. His father smiled. You must always be good in return. His father said, If you are good, Allah will reward you. Hey, Dad, will Allah give me a kite if I'm very good? Shall we pray and ask him, Dad asked. The next morning, the azan sound sounded. Adam prayed to Allah. He knew that he had been a very good boy all summer. He hoped that Allah would answer his prayers. He had learned all about the special words that mom and dad used during the day, and he would keep listening for more. Dad in the evening, Adam's father arrived home with a big bag in his hand. Adam ran over and hugged his father and quickly opened the bag. It was a yellow, it was a big yellow click, just like the one Adam wanted. Okay, he felt a rush of joy, knowing that Allah has answered his prayers. Alhamdulillah, shouted Adam, running outside with his new kite. Hmm. There's no, like, um, and I don't understand. We hope you and your and your children enjoyed the story. I have to tell me a little more about Ramadan. There's my friends eat pork, but what about me? My first Islamic coloring book in 30 days of learning and good deeds. Wait. Wait, 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 I learned a lot about a lot today. I hope you guys have a fun time. If you're from another place, not like another place in America, like not or something. Um, have a very nice day and night. And if it's night and you're sleeping, um... I don't, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. You can watch this later because we're gonna put it on YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. We YouTube. Hey, um, I know you guys see some stuff behind me. Do you want me to show you? A farm maze. <laughs> yeah, a farm maze. Friends eat pork, but what about me? Okay, why can't you eat pork? Hmm? Because we're, I'm a Muslim. 
We're not allowed to eat pork. Oh. We'll get the book sometime. We already have to me more about Ramadan. We'll do that in another episode. Bye. Wait, 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 wait. That what did you?